Hello everybody, this is All South Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles 4. In the previous episode we took on the squad, sco that, uh, squad story to live unbound, involving Azusa, as her name is actually pronounced, Scott and Norid, who attempted to help Azusa escape from her ties to her clan back east. And we ended up getting them powered up. And in this episode, we'll be taking on Worlds Apart. You can actually unlock this uh, episode as early as Chapter 5. And in order to have it, you need to have Ve to have uh, Vancy, the drunk shock trooper, Zyga, whom you have at the beginning, and Gertrude, who requires that you have saved up a million cash. So chances are, unless you do some grinding early on, then you probably won't have her until a little later, which is probably a good thing because it means we're using our fully powered up troopers, or at least as powered up as we can get them at this very moment, against what should be regular enemy troopers, because the elites didn't start showing up until chapter 9. Worlds Apart, Class Warfare. What did you say that again? I, I dare you. Certainly. I can say it as many times as you wish. I will not ally with filth like you. The Darksins are an inferior people. They are without class and without honor. I already don't like this cunt. Fighting alongside a baseborn creature like you would disgrace the name of my noble family. Well then feel free to leave. Yeah, I know, she's probably going to have an about face by the end of the story, or at least not be a shitty person. But I really don't like her right now. Y you think you can get away with saying this crap? When Raz hears about this... Hey, what the hell's going on here? Oh, bro! <laughs> hey, Gertrude, you got some nerve talking to me like that. Oh, boy. How much you want to bet that is one trait that changes is that he no longer needs Raz around. You want to try saying that again with my bro here? Raz and I, we're tight. You screw with one of us, you screw with both of us. Silence! What? You would rely on another to defend your honor? Have you no shame? Uh. This is precisely why I detest Dachshunds. Your lack of class is only a symptom of a deficiency of character. Yeah, and your racism is just a sign that you're a complete bitch. You... Damn it, I don't have to take this! If you dislike insults, Darksim, try to ensure they are not deserved. <laughs> There's assholes everywhere you go. Yep. Don't let it get to you, Zyga. Right. Damn it! Gertrude, that bitch thinks she can say whatever she wants. I didn't choose to be a Darkson, damn it! Every word out of her mouth pissed me off, but I couldn't say anything back. That was pathetic. Hey, kiddo, what's got you down? Oh, hey, Fancy. Ah, you stink! Have you been drinking since noon? You can barely walk straight. What? No! I'm perfectly fine. Still going good. Fine, no problem. But hey, I mean it. What's wrong? Come on. I can't see kids like you all sad. Makes me wonder what I'm fighting for. You need any advice, okay? You come straight to good old Vancy. Good old sober Vancy. You're about as sober as I am a noble. Ah, oh, I get it. And then she just left, huh? <laughs> Hearing Gertrude say all that, I... I got so pissed off, but... I know it's pathetic, but I just couldn't say anything back. Okay, I think... 
seem to see what's going on here. Don't worry, I know exactly how to fix it. Oh uh, boy. All you gotta do is let me train you. Just let me teach you some moves, and the next mission, you can be the big fancy hero guy. Once Gertie sees you, trust me, she's gonna take it all back. I sincerely doubt that. That's your fix? I take shooting lessons from a drunk? What the? Whoa, Fancy! Careful with that! Huh? How did you get them all dead center? This drunk happens to know a thing or two about shooting. And whiskey. Hmm. Mostly the whiskey. Surprise, surprise. But aren't you drunk right now? Your hand's shaking. How can you shoot like that while you're... <laughs> what you think? Like the sound of training now? Ah, uh, she's gonna get him drunk, isn't she? You know, if you get way stronger, Raz might think you're pretty cool. Just saying. <laughs> you're right. Please, Vancy, teach me. I, I gotta get stronger. For Raz, and for myself. Hey, there you go. We got this. <sighs> hmm. Looks like Gertrude saw the whole thing. How'd you like that? Bullseye again. I'm getting better, right? Looks that way. Not bad for a couple of days practice. Now we just gotta put it to the test. <laughs> Can't wait to see the look on Gertrude's face. Well, not today. I think she's on a mission. Part of the advance party or something? Damn it, some timing. Why the hell am I stuck on standby? Fancy. I just got word from Claude. We need reinforcements. The Imperials have the advance party totally surrounded. The advance party? Wait, that's Gertrude's unit. Oh heck. Sounds like things are getting messy. <sighs> Let's go save them. Riley, let me handle their backup. Okay, straight into the fighting once more. I'm hoping I do better this time, but again, this is set during Chapter 5, so I should be fine. Here are your orders. Seems to be a relatively small map, all things considered. The advance party was ambushed from behind and cut off from the main force. There are good soldiers out there, alone. They need backup, and they need it now. We'll deploy shock troopers to hit hard and get our allies out fast. Okay, any allied foot soldier is killed. Okay. Enemies are defeated. Let's see. We've got Gertrude over there, it seems. So she must be the ambushed one. Looks like Zyga and Vancy over here. Not sure if this is going to be one of those missions where we can call in reinforcements or if it's going to be like the last one where, well, we're on our own. But shouldn't be too difficult. That concludes the briefing. Now send in the cavalry. Got mid-tier armor and maxed out levels, so shouldn't be too difficult. I know I keep saying that over and over. Gertrude, again. you look like hell. You all right? Zyka and Bensi... You two came to rescue me. This is so humiliating. A lady of my stature indebted to this commoner? I mean, we could just walk away and leave you to die. Peasants and nobles don't mean shit out here. This is a battlefield, lady. War is where I must uphold my pride as a highborn noble. It is my natural duty. Oh, good God. She's more of an elitist than Minerva used to be. And it's only natural that I gotta save my squad mates. Hey, lovebirds! <laughs> Wanna save the bickering for after we get out of this? 
I see Sergeant Raz is in here to back you up. Do you have some backbone without him after all? All right, Raz is in here. Crap, now that I realize it, this looks a lot tougher. Oh, shut up and just charge in there. Yeah, just watch. I don't need him to stand up for me. Okay, we've got a camp, so it looks like we can indeed call for backup. Uh, we got Gertrude over here, but she's surrounded on both sides by, well, the pillboxes and the shock troopers. I think, first things first, we need to take out the pillboxes and the shock trooper, at least the one right here, before we even consider going after them. Or before you even consider trying to move Gertrude. Not too worried about this scout here, because he's just a scout. Hey, yes. Check this out. Commencing counter -attack. Follow my lead. Yeah, look how little damage they're actually doing. Vancy take care of the other pillbox while Zyga takes care of the shock trooper down here. Assuming he can. If not, then I'll just send him to take care of the Understood. other pillbox. Watch out for counter -attack. Now, where is that guy? Ah, good. And he isn't hiding. Or rather isn't crouched behind the sandbag, so... We're good to go on that end. I can still keep going! I... I did it! Okay, I think I'm going to have Zyga take care of this last pillbox. Then... I, I need to start move, moving Gertrude so she can get into a better position. Oh, wait, there's also that Grenadier over there I need to take care of. Okay, okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Vancy, run her past the Engineer. Hopefully be able to take these two out. If I can get Gertrude hidden, I don't have to worry about the sniper, but I do have to worry about the grenadier. Understood. Yes. Where'd you go? Keep firing. You're going nowhere. I should certainly hope that a crate can't dodge bullets. Ah, crap. I now I've got them left out in the open. Because here's the thing. The Grenadier can see Gertrude. As can the Sniper. Stone Cold Silver. Why did I do that? Nice. Good. That should make things a little easier. You know, let's position her in a way that she can shoot at that guy at the very least. Oh, I hope this didn't just backfire on me. I mean, she should be able to survive one barrage. I hope. Yeah, she'll be fine. But I do need to take that guy out. Ah, there's a guy coming around this way. Eh, 
Eh, honestly, I think I could probably get through this with just what I've got left. What an idiot. I mean, I need to take out that shock trooper, but at the same time, he's so damn close that he could probably get a barrage off on her. I'm trying to calculate whether or not I can take this all out before I, uh, in this turn, with just what I have. There's that one guy there, there's a shock trooper here, that guy there. I don't think I can get that engineer. I can get pretty much everybody except for, I believe, that engineer. Unless I use Gertrude to hit him. Might work. But in that case, I'm gonna need Check to take out. out the shock trooper here. Target destroyed. Good work. Let's go! I can still keep going! I did it! Him down. Kill confirmed. How much you want to bet that thing's not going to trigger this often in uh, actual dangerous combat? And by that I mean the main missions. Because that's just how my luck is. Onward! I will see you destroyed! We're only two shots to kill with this, huh? There. Yep. Alright, so it looks like I won't be finishing it this turn. Understood. Calm down. We need some present fire now. Nice. That ought to take care of the imps around here. Not bad. You've got a long way to go, Zaggy boy. Ah! I had no idea there was anyone over there. How'd you see him, Vancy? Seriously, what's your deal? I thought you were just some drunk. You're a real badass. If I recall, Miss Fiore was once part of an elite squad of special operations forces. Ah, uh, my guess is something horrible happened, she was the only survivor, and that's why she's a drunk. However, their final mission ended in disaster. Her team was massacred, and she was left as the sole survivor. Yep, knew it. I was told she turned to drink to escape the despair. But for whatever reason, she's taken the field once more. Wait, so this whole time I've been trained by an elite agent? But then you'd ought to stop drinking, right? If you were sober, you'd be some kind of killing machine. It's probably because she doesn't want to be. Uh, maybe. But the drinks help keep things fuzzy. Helps keep the darker stuff out of my head. Darker stuff? Oh, your team. Yep. One cannot remain bound to the past. We must look ever towards the future. You say that, but you seem pretty worked up about the Darkson's past. Ooh, bad. Well, uh, that's... Hmm. Doesn't matter now, anyway. Come on, folks. Survive first, talk later. I can still keep going! Seriously? All Again. Right. Chances are it's not going to be triggering that much during actual main missions. Enemy spotted. Oh. Yeah, no, I definitely wasn't going to be finishing this this uh, turn. And there is a tank. Oh boy. Might not be a bad idea to spend some CP to get some people, you know, who can give us more CP. 
No units in reserve. Never mind, not an option. But I do need to take care of that engineer. Okay, here's the plan. I'm going to use up some CP from Vancey. As a matter of fact, I'm going to spend the last two CP on Vancey to take out the engineer blocking Gertrude's path. This shock trooper, and then I'm going to set them up to be defensive and hope that that heavy tank doesn't blow us away. Stone Cold Silver. Wait, can I even hit him from here? 11 shots, 3 from here. They would all have to be headshots. I would have... No, there's no way I'm killing him with Vancey. In that case, I'm just going to have to use Gertrude to finish the guy off. That takes care of some CP for the enemy. Oh, tea time. Really? Not bad out there. All right. Well, I may as well use up the rest of her AP getting her moved forward so that she's in a good position to get after that tank next turn. Come on, wander into range. Idiot. And there's idiot number two. Come on, is there going to be a third idiot? Please tell me there is. Nope. There's going to be somebody who's shuffling around near the... Well, maybe. Maybe. Yep. Idiot number three. Okay then, priority number one this turn is to take care of that tank. It is the biggest threat Hello. here. You really believe yourself my equal? Be aware of your allies' positions. Yeah, I figured she wouldn't have enough AP to reach. Doesn't matter though. Tank is taken care of, get her into a safe position, and then we're going to spend the rest of our AP using Zyga and Vancey in order to take out the hopefully last two soldiers. Let's see, yep, still got an A rank on the I table. I'll show you. Watch out for counter -attack. Of course, if there are any enemies left, they're probably hiding in the grass. Really? You're just a lowly basic scout. I can still keep going. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Understood. Watch out for Let's go. Target destroyed. And I'm going to move Zyga up just in case there's enemies hiding in the grass. So that I can get them moved in to take care of them. Nancy. That's a buzz. If you would be so kind as to move in and eliminate the shock trooper, I would be ever so grateful. Nope, still enemies. Uh, don't tell me they're hiding in the grass at the very beginning. Nope, they're hiding in the grass back there.
And of course he's hiding. And I can't use grenades because that'll hit Gertrude. Same time though, he's pretty much dead. Hey, yes. Check this out. Yes. Where'd you go? Oh, please tell me that's the thing that disappears for him. There we go. Probably end up with B rank because it took that extra turn, but whatever. Oh yeah, that's all of them. Hmm. I wouldn't go cheering just yet, cowboy. Huh? Keep your guard up, Zyga. We are not finished here. Nope, still got A rank. Then we got an ace. Ah, oh, the sniper. I stopped paying attention for aces anyways. Their weapons aren't all that great. I mean, they're powerful, but... I wouldn't call them anything I'd use due to their accuracy and range capabilities, or rather, lack thereof. Damn it, are you serious? There's still more? Well, we got back to the main encampment, but our reinforcements are still a ways off. By the way, Gertrude, how'd you end up all alone here? I was acting as a decoy to secure my comrade's escape. You? A decoy? The aristocracy has a duty to their people. That is why I enlisted, after all. You do realize your people also include the Darksen, who are part of the Federation? I had no idea. Guess you're not such a snob after all, huh? I wouldn't go that far, Zyga. I mean, I get you were acting as a decoy, but that doesn't explain you looking so messed up. Found them! Federation soldiers over here! Take them out! Gertrude, what the hell are you doing? Hurry and get down! I am a woman of noble birth. I refuse to grovel in the dirt like some pauper. Fine, enjoy getting shot then. What? Everyone over here! We've got a fan! Let me get this straight. This is how you were fighting before we got here? Well, naturally. Why, I barely had any time to rest between all the waves of Imperials. They're only attacking you because you're standing out in the open, you idiot! Well, that explains why you look all beat up. Noble's got it rough. Screw nobility! Look, get down and hide! Ah, uh, Zyka, for once in your life, be quiet. Do you hear that? from behind us, I think. Wait, that's gotta be... It's our allies! And... and Raz! They all came to rescue us! That's Raz, all right. He's invincible! Bro, you were so cool! Those imps never knew what hit him! Thanks, Raz. I owe you a drink. Don't worry about it. Just glad you're all safe. And so, once more, a dachshund rushes to my aid. Oh, for the love of... Just be happy you're alive. Hmm. Good, you're all here. May I have a moment of your time? Whoa, Gertrude, you look like you're ready to kill a guy. So what? Are you here for more insults? Well, now you gotta answer to Raz. Oh, it appears some things never change. And insults are not my intent. I came to offer my thanks. And an apology. Huh? You saved my life in that last mission. So, thank you. And I owe you a formal apology for disparaging you and your heritage. I am truly sorry. I know you're training harder than anyone to grow stronger. Huh? Wait, really? In truth, I could not conceive of people like you among the Dachshunds. No, perhaps 
Perhaps it was foolish of me in the first place to judge a person's character by their class or ancestry. You got that right. Uh, after all that crap you said before, I'm kind of not sure how to take this. But there's something I gotta tell you too, Gertrude. If you hadn't provoked me, then, well, I probably wouldn't have worked so hard to prove you wrong. It doesn't excuse all that crap you said, but I guess I'm grateful for that push or something. What's going on here? You two are looking awfully close after all that fighting. Aw, oh, you kids. Gives me the warm fuzzy seeing you all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed again. Yeah, guess it's kids like them that remind me. Better to leave the past in the past and keep moving forward. What's that? You say something, Vancy? What? Me? Oh, I'm just glad you two got over your differences and all. I'd say this calls for a drink. You want to come get a beer with us, Gertie? Uh, I'm afraid I must decline. If you'll excuse me, I was about to go enjoy some tea before our next orders came in. We're in the middle of a war and you need your tea time? A lack of tea would kill me more surely than any bullet. You'd understand if you were a noble. I wouldn't mind having you join me if you're so inclined. Huh. You sure? I'm sure such refined flavors would be wasted on a simpleton like you, but yes, by all means. What? Ah, damn it, that girl pisses me off. Help me out here, bro. Come on, kid. I can't tell if those two are actually any closer. Ah, uh, they are. Gertrude's just being all shy. She's never invited any other squatties to tea before. I I'm afraid I don't see how that matters. Zyga, come. If you dawdle much longer, I shall leave you behind. Wait! Hey, get back here! I said wait! <sighs> Tonight, I'm gonna break out the good stuff. Well, at least he's no longer dependent on Raz. Changed into growing up. Vancey's hammer has changed into former elite. And Gertrude's darks and discriminator has changed into noblesse oblige. No idea what any of those do, but I'm going to go check on it. Okay. I should probably also check out Mabel. I didn't do that last time. Actually, why am I doing it from there? Let's go to equipment. Let's see. Zyga. Growing up, having no allies nearby increases his defense. That is certainly a lot better than the negatives we were getting beforehand. Let's see. Vancy. Former elite. Muscle memory from her days as an elite so soldier raises all her stats. Hmm. I might want to add her in. Then again. Oof. There are these. And the flashback. Eh... I'll think about it. And Gertrude, whom we didn't actually show this off. Warzone etiquette lowers her defense if she crouches or hides. Yeah. Chance of recovering her HP after an attack. Strong willed lessens damage from interception fire. And noblesse oblige. Having an allied unit nearby increases her anti tank power and defense. Hmm. Okay then. Probably wouldn't have been a bad idea to try and make Zyga leader give us a little extra CP, but it didn't matter in the end, really. I suppose the mission was meant to, uh... All set for the next battle. Was more meant to, uh... Take care of other things. Okay. Also, forgot to look over our new recruits. Let's see, plus Curtis's new overbearing sister. Having Eileen nearby is a distraction that causes a drop in accuracy. Uh-huh. Attentive, resupplying an ally, chance to recover her own HP. That's pretty good. 
increases her accuracy. Unreliable brother, when she used to blow with Curtis, she constantly worries over his safety, decreasing her evasion. Distracted, she gets worried when she can't see Curtis, lowering her defenses. Oh boy, lower defenses or decreased evasion? Ugh. And Mabel, Soldier's Honor, increases when they discover an enemy. See, Debater, she gets caught up with ar arguing with people, decreasing her evasion. Tranquil Fury, taking interception fire only steals her further, increasing her defense and accuracy. Not bad, but that something like that would be better suited on, say, a scout or a shock trooper. Don't get me wrong, the snipers take intercept fire, but not that often. Okay then, well, with that I think I'm probably going to end it off because we don't have any more squad stories unlocked and I'm probably going to take the time in between episodes to do that. So, I'm going to end things off here for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, and please leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.